The Mandalorian Season 3 suffers weak premiere viewership. That, honestly, is very shocking and telling information to hear. Because The Mandalorian has been Star Wars' golden goose, per se. We've seen what's happened with the Star Wars Disney sequel trilogy. It was an absolute disaster. It divided the fandom beyond repair, and there hasn't been much since then that's fixed it. The Mandalorian has been the only show to really come out that kind of brought the fandom back together, where basically everyone from both sides of the aisle agreed that it was a decent show. It wasn't the best thing in the world, but it's something that for the most part everybody enjoyed watching, and it felt Star Wars. And then, well, the company ruined that. And by, and what I mean by ruining that is they fired Gina Carano. Now look, even if you were to say that Gina Carano did something wrong, the problem was of how the company handled it. Because if you recall, Pedro Pascal posted very similar things. But because he leans a certain political way versus what Gina Carano does, the company treated them completely different. And not only just by the political nonsense, but we've also seen other shows take massive nosedives where people were like, that's it, I'm done. If you recall, the most anticipated show probably to come out since the sequel trilogy was the Obi-Wan series. And when that show came out and people had realized what they did to this iconic beloved character, they were like, I'm done. This was my final straw. I'm out. People are leaving the franchise behind. And it seems like the numbers are speaking for itself. So it says here, the Mandalorian season three premiere suffered a surprisingly weak performance on Disney Plus compared to other Star Wars series. The Mandalorian has turned into a cultural phenomenon over recent years with season two setting records for the service at the time. And excitement for the show remained as high as ever after its trailer broke Star Wars records. So what could be the problem? After seeing the trailer, people are probably like, I'm done. I'm tired of Grogu, I'm tired of the same stuff. It's just boring and dull at this point. If you don't agree with me, that's okay. The numbers are speaking for itself to where it seems like the normies, the people who are not fanatics, just don't care anymore. So according to The Wrap, which shared data collected by Samba TV, The Mandalorian Season 3 premiere had a relatively weak performance in comparison to some of the other Star Wars Disney Plus series. Viewership exceeded the recent Andor by close to 50% because nobody watched Andor. It still trailed behind Obi-Wan Kenobi and The Book of Boba Fett. Fett premieres by 28% for Obi-Wan and 2% of Book of Boba Fett, while also falling short of Marvel Studios' Loki premiere by 35%. I'm sorry, but the fact that Loki is more popular than Star Wars is really, really bad. That just shows you how far Star Wars has fallen. As shared by Samba TV, the first episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi was viewed by 2.14 million U.S. households in the first four days. That's a lot. Meanwhile, the debuts of The Mando Season 2 and The Book of Boba Fett were watched by 2.08 million and 1.5 million households. The data seems to indicate that Season 3 Episode 1 of The Mandalorian was viewed by just under 1.5 million households households. The disappointment comes after the original trailer for season three overtook Obi-Wan Kenobi to become easily the highest viewed trailer for a Disney Plus series in the galaxy far, far away. With The Mandalorian season three failing to live up to past highs, one has to wonder whether some sense of Star Wars fatigue, if that's even real, is beginning to settle in. That may well be one of the factors leading to this decline going into the blockbuster series third go around, but there are undoubtedly many others. It's not Star Wars fatigue. It's not superhero fatigue. It's called bad writing fatigue. They continue to make garbage content. Look at how Obi-Wan turned out. You could tell that was slapped together. The first episode of The Mandalorian, it was a joke. You have the two showrunners that don't even know what year this is taking place. They're not on the same page about anything. It's just an absolute mess. They don't care about this stuff. It is what it is. They clearly brought Grogu back only because they want to sell merchandise, not because of storytelling. And that's why these things are the way they are. It is shocking to see Mandalorian the the biggest thing in Star Wars right now failing to live up to its expectations what else does Star Wars have besides the Mandalorian this is their saving grace we see that because they're putting the Mandalorian all throughout the parks because it's all supposed to be based on the sequel trilogy and now you have Mando and Grogu running around this is their savior 
and their savior is starting to sink into the abyss. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. I always love to hear your thoughts. Has the writing been on the wall and have you seen this coming or does this come as a surprise to you? Let me know down below. Please like the video. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel and until next time, take care.